All right, here we are underneath Van's 62 Thunderbird. Now that we have it running sort of properly, okay, ish. We're waiting on the correct fan clutch. We've been through, what, two now, Bernsey? Yeah. And neither one been right. So uh, we found the proper one finally. Third time is going to be a charm, so it's going to take a little while to get here. <coughs> so while we're underneath, um, we're going to do a little inspection. Inspection, inspection, inspection. Shut up, phone. Inspection. So, come on back. First order of business. Yeah, let me get back there. Like every freaking T bird on the face of the earth that we encounter, every single one of them, bushings for the rear shackles, done. Toast. For. For cocked. Um, these are so rusty, crusty. We're probably going to end up having to replace the whole shackle assembly. Um, the springs themselves, at this point, because they're pretty rusty themselves and tired. I would not be too worried about replacing the whole damn assembly because somebody's jammed rubber in it later because that's not the correct rubber. So, also, take a look at our isolators. Done. Nice and shot. Absolutely shot. Shocks. The bushings are shot. I'm sure if you unbolt those, they'll go down and never come up again. Um, front bushings are also pecocked. I would recommend springs, bushings, everything back here. Um, this rubber brake line is cracked and dry rotted. You see the cracking? Yeah. So that's definitely do. Oh, and it's been look, it's been weeping right there. See, it's got the rust right there. Mm hmm. You know how brake fluid attracts moisture. So what it does is it weeps a little bit and the fluid attracts that moisture and the moisture rushes really bit rusts out the fitting. So definitely the soft line back here, leaf springs, shocks, all rubber components here in the back. On the exhaust system, it's original back here. If you come up here, you got your rolly oh, wheelie wheelie. Yep, sir. You can see the exhaust has been replaced up to right here where it goes over the axle. So our differential, it's been leaking a little to a lot at the bottom of the third member right here. So I'd pull that and reseal it for sure. Not too hard to do, no big deal. Um, U joints, they're actually tight and they're solid. They're just a little dirty. So we'd probably just grease those and send it on down the road there. Let's move forward. All right, it appears that our transmission has been somewhat resealed. Oh, there you are, Bernsey. Hi. What's up? Okay, so our trans mount, it's actually really good shape. The rubber's really good. Um, all the hardware, there's a lot of orange silicone on this transmission. And it is leaking just a hair at the rear seal. But other than that, it's pretty clean. Because it looks like the trans has been rebuilt, I'd probably redo the gasket because it's a little wet here on the pan. So I recommend doing the pan, and we need to redo the seal on the speedometer cable. Like a look up seal the or an O-ring? An O-ring, yeah. See that? It's just seeping down. You can see. Hold on, watch your hand. Here. See that drop right there? That droplet? Let me see. I'll guide you. Oh, there. Droplet. Got it. That droplet right there, it's coming out of the O-ring for the speedo cable. But other than that, this trans is pretty well sealed up. Um, all right, let's go up here to the front. All right, so sway bar end links have been replaced. They're nice. They're oh yeah. They're nice. Looks like the front rubber hoses at one point. Front rubber hoses have been replaced too. Those aren't cracked or anything. Those look good. Um. Radius arm bushings are cracked. You can see that. 
Yeah, all the sway bar stuff's good. Um, ball joints. Because these were riveted from the factory, and these are bolted in, that shows that they've been replaced at some point in the past. Um, the rubber is actually in good shape. I'd say let's just grease those and see what we got. Yeah. Um, our big issue here, our shocks have cracked already on our bushings. So more than likely, if the bushings are cracked, the shocks are probably wore out. Um, all of our steering components look okay. There's no grease zerk in this one. That concerns me a little bit, but we can put a grease fitting in there and grease it because those look like they've been replaced as well. But they look like they've been actively greased. So we'll check for end play here in a minute. Um, our trans cooler lines, they've been hacked off and put a pure rubber all the way up. So we might want to think about that. The dipstick tube's been silicone bombed, but it's not leaking anymore. Neither is the oil filter adapter. Um, the motor mounts. Let's see, they are looking pretty nice, actually. They're not dry cracked or rotten. No. So Can you bring the light on this side yeah. real quick? There we go. Our motor mounts, they've been there recently replaced. Ooh, this radius arm bushing isn't as bad as the other side, but it's pretty tired. Um, lower control arm bushings actually look really good. So those have been replaced before as well. Um, just from underneath here. And we've already covered the engine bay, obviously, because we've been working on making the car run and drive first. So we're at that point. Um, I think our next step's going to be Let's just get the wheels off and check the brakes, and then uh, go with our inspection. It sounds good. Be back with you in a moment.